So the whole problem of patient safety uh, burst onto the national scene in the late 90s with a, with a, a publication of the Two Errors Human Report. And that report uh, received a lot of coverage. It was on the front pages of uh, many papers around the country uh, every day. And uh, what the report suggested was that many more patients were being harmed than, than people had suspected and that much of that harm was uh, preventable. Uh, the work that we did really did help inform the, uh, the Two Errors Human Report. I went down and testified to the committee that that to, to the uh, the committee that wrote that uh, report, and uh, that report really helped galvanize uh, change in our healthcare system to to get people to focus on safety and to to work on on uh, improving it. The the first big study that we did looked at the frequency of medication errors and adverse drug events in patients in the hospital, and it was published in 1995. The key findings were that uh, nearly half, 49% of the errors were at the ordering stage of the process. 14% of the errors were at dispensing stage, 26% were at administration where the, where the nurse actually gives the drug, and 11% were at the transcription stage. Before we did this work, most of the focus had been on medications after, after the order is written. But it turns out that the most error-prone part of the whole process is the, is the ordering stage. So that really changed the way that people looked at the whole uh, medication process. Now, we've gone through and systematically looked at all the, the key areas, ordering, dispensing, administration, and transcription. In the ordering stage, uh, computerizing ordering re re resulted in a 55% decrease in the medication error rate. Uh, barcoding in the pharmacy reduced the error rate 67%. Uh, uh, doing barcoding at the bedside reduced the error rate uh, at that, uh, at that, in that process 51%. And uh, putting in place the electronic medication administration record uh, p reduced the error rate completely with respect to transcribing errors. So uh, all of these different changes have had a big impact at different parts of the process. Now, if you look at where are things going in the future, uh, there are a number of, of individual pieces that hospitals will want to have. Uh, every hospital will want to have computerized physician order entry. They also all want barcoding. Uh, most hospitals have in place what are what's called point of care technology, which means cabinets which can be used to dispense uh, drugs. Another technology which has a has a big impact is smart pumps. These are pumps which can be told which drug is being given, and uh, and it, it, the nurse can program the pump, and the pump uh, has software in it to make sure that the dosage of the drug is is an appropriate one. Uh, in addition. Uh, tools can be used to look for signals that somebody's had a problem with one of their medications. We have our computer system programmed so that it's looking in the background and if a signal is found, a pharmacist can go see that patient and check whether they're having a problem to a drug. And problems with medications don't stop in the hospital. We also need tools to reconcile medications, which means to check and make sure that uh, what the patient's getting in the hospital is the same or similar to what they were getting at home. In addition, we have to do a better job with post-discharge monitoring, which means contacting people after they leave the hospital. We've showed that, uh, that uh, uh, harm to patients uh, after they leave the hospital related to their drugs is quite, uh, quite common. And if you have someone check in with them early on, uh, a, lot of those, a lot of those issues can be prevented. And finally, uh, many of the technologies that I talked about don't communicate today. And the future will be to build linkages between all these different uh, systems and also just to get patients even more engaged in the medication process than they are today. One technology that we're studying now, which we're really excited about, is a new technology. It uh, sits between the mattress and the bed and it can sense what the patient's uh, pulse is, what their respiratory rate is, and can tell whether, the, whether or not they're moving. And the idea behind this technology is that uh, if the patient starts breathing really rapidly or they, their pulse goes way up, 
uh, the nurse actually gets a message on their smartphone and they can go and check the patient. And in early studies, we found that that decreases the chance that a patient will need to go to the intensive care unit by around half. We're doing more studies now to check that out. But there are other technologies like this that, that hopefully will take us even farther uh, in terms of improving safety.